Well, hey guys, Alex here with a cup of coffee and a brand new book that I wanted to share with y'all. It's called Classic Baseball Cards, The Golden Years from 1886 to 1956. And we're going to take a look through this book and you're going to want to stick around because it's pretty amazing. But before we get to that, I want to give a shout out to Jesse, Think Blue 77 um, Jesse's the man who uh, pointed me in the direction of this book. Um, if you're not aware of Jesse's channel, you got to get over there, um, subscribe to his channel. It's worth it. Um, Jesse has an amazing collection. He collects uh, baseball cards from all eras. He also has an amazing um, vintage baseball glove collection, a bobblehead collection. Make sure you uh, subscribe to his channel. Okay, so one of the questions that I get asked about my pre-war collecting is, how do you go about doing it? How are you deciding which cards you're going to go after? Um, I'm really trying to be really specific about the cards that I'm going to go after. Um, some of them are about the player, some of them are about the card, but really I'm just, in my mind, trying to go after the cards that really capture my eye, that are some of the most beautiful baseball cards ever made. This book is really going to help because one of the issues that I've been having is just having a singular resource that I can go to that has photographs of all the cards and this book just about does it. So this book has 9,000 full color actual size reproduction photographs of baseball cards going from 1886 all the way up to 1956. Um, and that includes uh, tobacco cards, candy cards, Gaudi, play ball, tops, Bowman, but even some of the more obscure ones like Bond Bread, uh, Wheaties Cards, Red Heart, Red Man Tobacco, and on and on. So it's by no means every card ever made in you know this time span, but it's darn near close. So it's an amazing resource to just get to see all the cards together, you know, be able to go through them and just get a sense of that particular set and that particular era of baseball cards. Every now and then the quality is a little off, like the photography, especially for the um, Sporting Life cards, is a little off. And sometimes the photographs are a little fuzzy, but all in all, there's really not much to complain about. It's an amazing resource, and I'm already using it to just surf through and get ideas for different areas that I want to go to with my collection. So I kind of feel like if you're a pre-war or vintage collector, this book is an absolute must. I already kind of feel like that, and I've, I just got it... A, a couple days ago and I'm already feeling like that because it just really gives you some serious context um, but honestly even if you're not a vintage collector if you're just a baseball fan or a baseball card fan which all of us are you're gonna love this book because it's just really cool to be able to flip through this and look at all these cards you know there's a ton of cards in this book that none of us are gonna own because they're just super obscure or just way too expensive and so this is a way to kind of enjoy the card nonetheless so I really recommend this book for anybody. Um, the really awesome thing about this book, I got this book for five bucks. So if you do a little searching, you're going to find it, and you're probably going to be able to find it for a reasonable price. So there's really no reason not to snag it. So I can already tell this is going to be the kind of book that, you know, on a rainy day when I just want to have some coffee or maybe uh, a little whiskey and sit back and look through some baseball cards. Um, I can just go through this book and get some new ideas for my collection and just kind of enjoy the passage of time as the cards got more elaborate and kind of changed and went in different directions um, in terms of style and design and the players, of course. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that um, this has been of some use. Um, maybe somebody's inspired to get this book and that it's going to help some people with their collecting. Um, I know that it's definitely going to help me. And I really want to thank Jesse once again for bringing this book to my attention. So until next time, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.